way of defining features of the past couple of games you guys have been late runs by you late? I guess it's been the keys to you guys with both game execution. Uh, I think just um, staying together. Um, while other teams go on runs, I feel like we uh, we don't fold. Um, we just get tighter as a team, and um, I think within that that last 12 minutes, we came together defensively. Um, we came up with some stops, and, and that helped us. Is there something unique defensively, like when a team's on another run, just what you guys can do to like shut that down, get up like that important stuff? Um, just stay together, because it's, it's easy when. Um, when a team goes on a run uh, to fall apart, guys start yelling at each other. We might not be getting any um, buckets offensively. So uh, just staying together, um, yeah, just coming together. And uh, who has more heart, that's what it comes down to. You mentioned the other night how finding your role has been a mental thing for you. Who's been key to, to help you have the right mindset as you um, go through that? Man, it's been a little bit of everybody, a little bit of uh, the veteran guys. They, they, they played a big part. Um, just Coach Brad, Coach G. Um, Tim, Coach Frage, everybody. Honestly, uh, it's been a, it's been a team effort. Um, just just little things, just like um, just in practice, just telling me to just stay aggressive, and um, just after practice, everybody's working with me and things like that. So, as a, as a group, is is there a point in the season where the light just kind of switches on for freshmen, and you don't feel like freshmen anymore? Or? Um, yeah, I, w I would say so. I think. Um, over the time, you just you get a little bit more comfortable playing. Um, you get more comfortable with the offense and uh, within the offense and things like that. That seems to have happened for you lately. Uh, Are they, you feeling that? Yeah, that? definitely, for sure. Yeah. Uh, besides some of the uh, back and forth between the fan bases this week, Illinois, Iowa has had some juice to it in the last several years. Have you picked up on that? Have you, uh, does this feel like a different game in that sense? Yeah, definitely. Um, I think just when I see the, all the stuff going on on Twitter, uh, it kind of just like made me aware of where uh, the situation and the rivalry and then um, yesterday in film um, Coach Brad kind of talked about um, how the past couple years it's just been we beat them at their place in the Big Ten Championship and stuff like that so um, I'm excited for it. How about the uh, prospects of defending Chris Murray? <laughs> yeah man it's, it's gonna be it's gonna be a tough challenge um, he's, a, he's a great player um, he has so many things in his, in his arsenal that he can do um, so it's gonna be a challenge that, that we're looking forward to. It's been great. Um, Luke is a tremendous leader. Uh, he's really vocal. He's always been vocal. Obviously, he's a great shooter. Uh, but but what helps this team a lot is his leadership. Um, it's just it's off the charts how much he talks and communicates. And even his first day back at practice yesterday, you could just tell so much how it helped us. What was that role kind of like for him when he was out? How is he kind of still involved with you guys? Um, he didn't. He didn't play any. He played in a Kansas scrimmage, so uh, obviously it just helps to space the floor. I mean, he's a great shooter. Uh, he, he always crashes the glass and rebounds. Um, defensively, um, he's pretty good. So um, he, he helps us all around. I mean, he hasn't been able to play in months. But mm -hmm. What kind of maybe leading was he doing from the side? Man, just just talking. Like Luke was a Luke was a big guy for me too because. Um, like when I get subbed out, just keep your head up, keep your head up, just little stuff like that. Um, and he just he just kept us together. Uh, when we when we get got heated and things like that in some games, um, he just step in the huddle and he just tell us to calm down. We've been here before, and, and he just does little stuff like that. What's the next step for you offensively? Is I assume you want to improve your jumper, extend your range, that kind of stuff. Um, I'm not really worried about that right now. Um, as long as we're winning, um, I'm fine. Um, that's something that's going to happen in the off season. Um, but, but right now, I'm just going to keep doing me and keep, keep doing what I'm doing. Kind of a random one. Uh, Matt is a very specific personality. Uh, that's like, what does he meant to the locker room for you guys? A lot. I think when, I think when when things get tense, Matt, Matt's always a guy who's going to give you a laugh. Um, in a serious situation, he's going to give you a laugh. Um, and I think that's been huge for us. Just everything just is not so serious, you know. Um, so Matt's been huge for us, man. Do you have a funniest Matt Meyer moment so far? Um, there's there's so many, man. <laughs> ah, there's so many. Um, I'll probably say after the win versus, um, I believe it was um, not Minnesota. I think Wisconsin, at Wisconsin. Um, he did this thing where he just told us, he was like, when coach comes in, like everybody just act like they're mad. And, and it was obviously, it was a big role win. Um, and when coach came in, he's like, what? It, it was just super funny. Matt's, Matt's um, he's one of a kind. You guys have also done a couple things after the woods at home where you like kind of hide the lockers and stuff. Is he behind that or he was kind of behind that? Yeah, yeah, Matt, Matt, Matt's always behind that type yeah. of stuff, man. He's, yeah, he's funny, man. So I guess when you're doing some work with the scout team, just with Zach and 
Nico, just how are they maybe adjusting to, I don't know, college basketball, but they're living in the U.S. Mm -hmm. How are they kind of, you know, adapting to these? I think they're adjusting really well. Zach, Zach especially, uh, he's been here for around, I think, a month or two now, and um, it's been great to see his, his progress. Um, just, just as far as him learning English, like it's been, it's been, it's amazing. Um, but yeah, he's been doing really good um, in practice. He's been battling Dane, so it's, it's been making him a lot better. Um, and I think he's gonna be ready soon. And, and then Nico, he's he's adjusting well. Um, I think they they all um, blend in with us really good, um, and they work really hard. So um, it's not hard. Thanks, Doc. Yeah.